If it's not you, will the next Clinton running for elected office be Chelsea? I doubt it, Jane, and I, I think that she has so many interests in her life, I, I, and I wouldn't, I would not even dare to project it or predict it because it's such a personal decision. I never thought I would run for office. Oh, but I've read an, I've read a magazine article, Fast Company, where she talks about her lifelong asking, uh, being asked, "Are you going to be a politician?" Yes. And her visceral, "No." Yes. Isn't yes. so visceral anymore. She's, well, she's opened that door. Crack. I think she wants to be consequential and make a difference. I think she wants to have a meaningful impact on policy. Uh, and so she got a PhD in you know, international relations, specializing in, in public health governance around the world. She has a, a very well-developed sense of responsibility and uh, duty. Um, but I've, ne I've never had a conversation with her and I've never heard her say to any close friend that this was a path she wanted. But I have to quickly add, it was never something I said either. I mean, sometimes people would project that onto me. Yes, they and did, even here, yes, even in 1969. Even here. And sometimes when I would talk about policies or what I thought needed to be done in the, in, the, in the government or the country, people would say, oh, you know, you should run for office. I wanted to be an advocate. That's why I went to work uh, after law school for the Children's Defense Fund. I wanted to you know, help right wrongs. I was passionate about social justice and change. But it was not until 1998 when Daniel Patrick Moynihan said he was not going to run for re-election. And people from New York started coming to me, urging me to run, that I ever seriously sat down and said, wait a minute, is this something? And for months, I resisted it and said no. 